Coming to you live from Oracle Code 2018 in New York City, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Developer Community, and my guest for this segment is Oracle Ace Director Arup Nanda. Arup, how you doing? All right, thank you very much, Bob. Tell me about the session you're presenting today. Sure, my session is called Python for Oracle Professionals. So Python is a language, has been around for a long time, but is only, only recently is getting some prominence out of that, and my talk is about how, as an Oracle Professional, you can leverage the power of Python in many different ways, and then use that in conjunction with Oracle Database. Why is that important? Uh, it's important, so t uh, as Oracle professionals, we are very concerned about data, uh, but uh, the thing is that data is not just for databases only. It could be from one, many different sources. Like for example, Excel spreads it, also data, some kind of data. Yeah. But data also comes from other sources which is not conventional. Take for example, Twitter, or Facebook, etc., yeah. and it's all important as well. So those data has to be analyzed and con and consumed in some format as well. So and so the, the think about the multiple types of data coming in and that to be digested and maybe in the, you put the summary of all that in the Oracle database. The glue that that makes it all happen is Python. That's a very important part of it. Then Python is also language of data science. So and as Oracle professionals, we have to know about data science at right. least in some way or other. So knowing Python helps as well. And the final one is that um, visualization, data visualization is very important. Right. And instead of buying an expensive package, Python has many built-in libraries, completely free, that you can do great visualizations. I'll be showing all that thing in my session today. I have written an article series called Python for Oracle Professionals. Ah, okay. So it's okay. there and it's a, it's a tutorial series with videos, quizzes, and everything. For uh, Oracle professionals who want to ad adopt Python, what's the major challenge for them? Most people think that it's very difficult to learn a language, mm -hmm. unless you're in college or something. So I'm still that. having trouble with English. Exactly. <laughs> so, 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 so what I try to break it down to is that, so if someone tells you the comparison of the language you're going to learn with a language you know already, for example, if you know English, so let's say you want to learn Spanish. So instead of starting with the grammar and punctuation, everything from there, what if somebody tells you, okay, here is the Spanish word for English. Some of the, some of the few words you have to know. Right. It'll get you started. So that makes it very interesting and easy for you to jumpstart. So of course, once that happens, then you can become more proficient in all that. Is that initial step people find very difficult. And that's what I, I'm trying to break, that it's not that difficult. Actually, Python is very similar, not exactly the same, similar to PLSQL. Tell me about <coughs> a, an interesting project that you've worked on recently. We tried to do something called Twitter sentiment analysis, trying to find out how people are talking about your company in okay. a positive way, negative way, neutral, uh, what are they talking about specifically, etc. Of course, you can't go through, a human cannot go through every tweet unless, of course, they come from a certain president <laughs> of a certain country, and can go through Twitter and figure out. But uh, you need uh, some kind of a machine to do this analysis. And Python actually has libraries to do all this. Uh, well, it requires some coding, of course, but it's very, very easy to do the coding. Right. I'll be showing that today, actually, how to do the Twitter analysis. Um, and also, store the information back into the Oracle database for analysis in the future. Yeah. So that I have done in the past. Um, so we try to move the sentiments back into the products development in the company and try to find out uh, development is in, in consistent with what we see in the marketplace or in our, our consumers or is different. That's very important. Because without that, in the past, people used to rely on service, which is very limited. Twitter is like a universe. Uh, data is available for anybody to consume. It's beautiful. This is all over the world. Can you get that thing? So you don't have to go through statistical sampling. You actually get the real data from the real sources. So that's something I've done. So what's next? Um, so I'll be talking about multi multiple things. One is called microservices. I think that's a very important thing for Oracle professionals to understand and do it. And that's the future is going to be. Yeah. Uh, the challenge is going to be how we can enable Oracle database in the microservices environment. Well, obviously it's all in details. So that's something I be talking about as well, and that's something I've been working on for the last two years, um, because technically, Oracle database is not conducive to containers. I'm going to prove that wrong. So it's not okay. Saying, yeah. okay. So I'm going to say that actually that. So how to do that? So all the details of that. Data science is something I've been working on as well. So I'm trying to put that together to for Oracle professionals what they have to pick up with data science, um, not just simple. Uh, mean, median, average, etc. that's not important. More like correlation, trying to put models, trying to find out how to do. And not necessarily for market, also for Oracle database infrastructure as well. Mm -hmm. For example, 
Do I run out of CPU in next six months or one year? What are the likelihood of that happening? Yeah, yeah. And how can I model that around? Those things are important. And it's not money. I don't see many people doing that. Many people talk about, you know, like consumer uh, impressions or, or preferences, etc. But not necessarily data center in center specific space. That's something I want to do. If you want more information on Python and Oracle database and anything else that developers might be interested in, visit developer.oracle.com. Thank you for watching. For the Oracle developer community, I'm Bob Rubart. Stay tuned.